Heinemann and Hyatt. Second chapter, Sets and Functions. Exercise 2A, the mixed questions. And the last question, exercise number 7, another form of higher question. Given these two functions, f and g, you have to find this other function equal to the composition of them, g of f of x. Right, so what have you got? So g is going to act on whatever f of x produces. Now, f of x produces this fraction, so it's going to act on 1 over x squared minus 4. What does g do to anything it gets hold of? Quite simply, it doubles it. It doubles it and then adds on 1. So it doubles it and adds on 1. Now it said here, give your answer as a single fraction. Well, first of all, I've got 2 times that, so it's going to be 2 over x squared minus 4, because you just multiply the numerators together, plus 1. Now, to make that a single fraction means changing 1 into an equivalent fraction with that same denominator. So you want them both to say x squared over 4. So the first one says 2 over the x squared plus 4, just putting the single line because they're going to share the same denominator. And to make a 1 equal to something over x squared plus 4, it would have to be the x squared minus 4. Because x squared minus 4 over x squared minus 4 is just 1. So I've actually got x squared minus 2 over x squared minus 4 for h of x. Right, that's the first bit. Part B. State a suitable domain for h. Well, domain means the set of numbers that you can put into this formula and get an answer. Now, normally you can just put any real number in, but you have to watch because you can't put in numbers that would give you the square root of a negative, because then you wouldn't get an answer, or rather not a real answer. And you can't put in any number that would involve or result in you dividing by zero. So those are the two things we can't have here. Well, there's no square roots, but I've got a denominator. So in this case, in the domain, I can't have the denominator, I can't have that equaling zero. There's a couple of ways of solving that. I could factorise it and then take the separate parts, or since it's just one term mentioning x, I can just swap sides. So that shouldn't equal 4, so x shouldn't equal plus or minus 2. That doesn't do the answer because that's just a little statement of what it can't be. This didn't say what can't you have, it said state the domain. And the domain means all the numbers that you can put in, all the numbers that you could work on. And for that, we'd use my set builder notation saying the domain will be the set of all the numbers x. Now, which ones? Well, basically, I can have anything. So x can be a member of any of the real numbers, sometimes you do that, any of the real numbers, and then I can put my exception, except x wouldn't be plus or minus, or I should rather say positive or negative 2. That's the proper statement of the domain using set building notation. There it is, question 7.